Hey there, welcome back. Now in this lecture, let us talk about models again. So till now we have been working with these three fields which is name, description, active. And I hope you got the idea about serializers as well as views. But now let us shape our project. Since we are creating a IMDB clone, we need more fields, we need to create more models. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to delete my current database and then I'm going to reshape my complete structure of models. So I'm going to create new models and I'm going to update my views as well as serialization. So currently I don't require these validations. I just use them to define the basic concept. And also we don't need this get length. Indirectly, I want to say that we are building our complete models again. So the first thing I want to talk about this name, which is movie. Uh, for our model and I don't think this is a right name. Why? Because we can add not just movie, we can add maybe a podcast, we can add a TV show or maybe a web series. So I just want to use a proper different name and I would recommend to use maybe watch list or something else because movie directly refers to something that is launching in theater but maybe we want to add a Netflix series. Maybe we want to add something that is presented on TV or maybe we just want to add a podcast show from Spotify. So I'm going to call this as watch list. The first thing I'm going to do is just delete this database. If you don't have option to delete here, if you think this is too risky, uh, you can jump onto your folder right now and you can select your database and delete it here or you can directly delete from here. Let me delete this one. Okay, my server is running. So let me stop the server first. Now we have option to delete again. That's done. So now our database is deleted and I'm going to reconstruct everything in our models. The first thing is, uh, let me rename this as watch list. The main reason I'm not referring to this as movie because movie is quite general name. I can add a web series in my watch list. I can add something else. So I'm going to call it as watch list. So my watch list is going to take this models as well as we can call it as title or we can call it as name movie title or web show title. So I'm going to use it as title and then we have description or we can call it as storyline or we can use description as well. Then we have active. We are referring this active as if the series is released or launched or if the movie is released or launched or something else. So we have this active field and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a field as created. Now this created field is usually date and time field. That means as soon as we send a post request with some content for title description as well as everything, I'm going to store their time frame as well. So this is going to have auto now add equals to true. That means I'm going to store their time frame here as soon as we create an object. Now there can be different other fields that I can use. So first let me refer this as title and I'm going to call this as either description or storyline. This is active and let me add few more details in future. So this is the four fields that I'm discussing. Now here I'm creating a second model and I'm going to call it as streaming platform. So let me call this as class and here we have stream platform. Now what I mean by this stream platform. So whenever we add a movie here or maybe a web show, this web show is linked somewhere either to Netflix or maybe to Disney plus maybe to prime videos. We can store that information through stream platform. Let me import models model and inside this I'm going to just store the name of that website. So it is going to be a character field and the length will be 30 I guess. So we will have Netflix, Prime Videos, Disney Plus and all other. Now I'm going to use about if we need to specify some description. Again character field and about can be 150. Now this about can also be used to maybe add some offer or a description regarding that website. Then I'm going to use website 
and instead of character field, I can use URL. Yeah, URL field and max length will be, uh, I guess, 100. That's it. And also I need to use this str. And I'm going to return the name of that platform. That's it for now. And we need to link them. So I'm going to do that during our nested serializer lecture that will help us a lot. This is the current state. We have streaming platform model and we have watch list. And now I need to replace everything from our old lectures. So if I jump here, instead of movie list, I'm going to call it as watch list. Now again, instead of movie, I need to replace lot of things. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to update this models here. I need to update again this model and I need to update my serializer also. So this will be updated here. This will be watch list serializer. Then my model will be watch list. Everything looks fine. I'm going to accept all and I don't need these validations. This looks pretty fine. Jump back here to my views. Now I have watch list serializer. Again, watch list serializer here. Get back here. This is going to be watch detail. This is going to be watch list. Again, the serializer is watch list. I'm calling this object as movies only. I know this name sound confusing, but I need to refer this uh, watch list to something. Otherwise movie name was too confusing for our model. That's done. So now this is done. The next thing we need to do is we need to talk about this stream platform. I need to write serializer as well as view. So what I recommend is pause this lecture and write serializer as well as view yourself. So that means how to add content in this streaming platform. So I can add name of Netflix, its website URL as well as about and I should be able to access them through URLs. I should have their view as well as I should have serializer for them. I strongly recommend to pause this lecture right now and then we will continue again. So you can just pause this add views as well as serializers. Till then let me add that also. So here I have stream platform. Make sure you have paused this and you are trying to do this yourself. Let me import my serializer platform and I'm going to create watch list for them. So I'm going to call it as class and here stream platform serializer. And I'm going to use model serializer itself. Inside that all I have to do is I also need to remove this line. Yeah. Inside that all I have to do is just define meta class. So I'm going to use class and then I'm going to use meta need to define model, which is going to be stream platform and I need all the fields. So this is going to be all. This looks fine. Uh, let me jump on to my views. So these are the old views and I need to create views to access all my streaming platform information. I'm going to call it as a stream platform list AV, which is my API view. Once that is done, uh, I need to get a get method as well as post method. But before that, I also need to import this model, this stream platform model, and I need to import it here. Now here, the first thing I need to do is use my get method. I'm going to use self as well as my request. Once that is done, I need to do all the same stuff. So I'm going to call this as platform. I need to use stream platform, need to select my objects. That is going to be all here in this case, 
Once I have access to them, I need to use my serializer, which is going to be stream platform serializer, I guess. Yeah. So I'm going to use this stream platform serializer. I need to pass this platform and there will be many objects. So I'm going to use many equals to true. Once that is done, let me add few one line of extra space. Yeah. Once that is done, I need to return a response. So I just need to use my serializer data. That's done. So that's my get request. I need to do something similar for my post request. So all I have to do is get access to my self as well as request. And here I need to use my serializer again. But this time we are going to have access to content. So I need to use this access to my serializer and we don't have any data right now we need to access data through request yeah so we are going to have access to this request when we are going to work with post condition and we can access this data pass this to our serializer and check if this data the serializer is valid or not if this is valid what we are going to do is we are going to save it that's done. If this works fine, we are going to return a response, which is our serializer data. But if this is not the case, what we are going to do is we are going to raise our else condition and we are going to return a response in the form of a error. That's it. So this is to get our list. Now I also need to use my urls.py and I need to import them. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy this one and add it here. Let me make some space and let me add it as my path. I am going to call them as stream platform itself or just stream. Keeping these URL as well as variable name correct is pretty hard task. So now that's it. We have created a stream platform serializer as well as view. I hope you have done it yourself. Let me rerun this server. Remember I need to make some migrations. Also create a super user then I can access them. So I'm going to use python manage.py and I need to make migrations. Definitely we are going to do some mistake. I'm importing movies. Uh, yeah, let me comment my admin section first. Instead of movies, this is going to be watch list as well as there will be. Let me copy this stream platform. And again here I need to use my watch list. Copy this line again and my stream platform. Okay, this looks fine. This is our admin panel. Uh, let me get back here. Again, let me clear the screen. And here, let me make migrations. We did some mistake again and we are importing something on our urls.py line number three. Let me jump onto url.py. Oh, okay, I thought I changed them, but I still need to do. Get here, this is going to be watch list AV. And then I have watch detail AV. This looks fine. Let me run again. Yeah, we have deleted our movie and then we have created stream platform and watch list. Once that is done and uh, let me do migrate. Now once that is done, it's time for us to create super user. So all I have to do is use python manage.py and create super user. I'm going to use shubham and no email, uh, I'm going to use password. It's common password, yes. That's done. Let me try to run my server. My server is running, jump back here, refresh, try to log in. Okay, 
Now we have our stream platform as well as our watch list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one movie and I'm going to call it as Python 2.7 the story. I know I have to create these fun names, but the problem is I cannot use original names of any movie, I think. So I'm trying to avoid them. And storyline, nothing, just information about Python. So I have created this through my admin panel. Now let us access this information through our API. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to visit movie slash list. Yeah, we already have this first content. Now you can also see this time and we have these three fields. The other thing I need to definitely wash out is my stream platform. So I need to visit stream. Okay, let me check again. It's going to be movie slash stream, I guess. Movie slash stream. Yeah, stream platform serializer is not defined. Let us check the error. Views.py line number 13. Let me get here. Views.py uh, scroll up line number 13. Okay, we haven't imported it here. Let me import, save this one, jump back here, refresh. Yeah, we currently have no element. So we need to add some element and we need to send JSON request. Let me try to add first element through my admin panel. And I'm going to call it as Netflix about uh, just Netflix or I can write streaming platform or something and just try to give Netflix.com click on save. So this is our first element and if you can see when we are using our website field, if you see our models, this URL field, we have this small type of link. And that is important actually. And we can update it if we want HTTPS. Save this, you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it here. Yeah, this looks fine. Try to add new element. I don't need to specify this ID, remove this one. Uh, let me add prime videos. Call this as streaming service. And here, let me call this as primevideos.com. If I send this post request, you can see we have created this second instance here and it's working fine. We have get and post request allowed. Now remember, I haven't created individual element part, which is stream platform detail like this uh, watch detail AV. So that means I cannot access individual element. If I need to edit that, I have to do that from my, this admin panel itself. So take it as a homework. And what we are going to do now is we are going to talk about nested serializer and we are going to create relationship between this watch list and stream platform. Currently both are separate, but what I want to do is when we add a new movie or web show, we should have option that if this movie or this web show is available on stream of Netflix, YouTube or prime videos or anything else. So we are going to do that in next lecture. Take it as a homework. What you are going to do now is create stream detail AV like this. So you should have option about get put as well as delete. And this will help us to edit individual element of them. Thank you for following and I see you guys in the next one. I hope this particular lecture was helpful. Now we are trying to shape our current project.